All right, today I am setting up for a string quartet recording that will be essentially an overdub on an already produced pop song. Um, and so we did a string arrangement uh, for this. Uh, I co-wrote it with the author of the music. And today we decided to put some live strings on it rather than the MIDI strings that we've been using. So uh, the setup is kind of uh, basic, but uh, I want to make sure that I get the vibe of the music, which is like 1960s soul. Uh, stuff like that. Most of the uh, original tracks were tracked with uh, ribbon microphones. So what I'm using, I don't have as many ribbons as I'd like to do this, but I'm going to use one ribbon as part of the mid-side pair here. I'm using the Coles uh, 4038s uh, as the mid-side, or as the side pair of the mid-side. Uh, and then the main uh, mid microphone is the U67, which would give us our 60s flavor as well. Um, going around on cello, I'm using an M149 uh, large diaphragm tube condenser made by Neumann. Also, will harken back to the days of the uh, 60s. Okay, we're using a large diaphragm uh, TLM103, also made by Neumann, on the viola. So that will be used for viola. And then on violins, I'm using a matched pair, so I get the same similar sound from the violins of a more modern microphone, the Audio-Technica AT5045, which I really love uh, for a lot of uses, particularly overhead drums, but it sounds really good on string instruments. It brings out some warm body as well as getting that top end that we like. So I've got them all set up on the shallow depth of the uh, studio, so not the long ways. Uh, this is mainly so that they can see the uh, video monitors that we have to communicate through, because. I will not be in here with them as they perform. So they are set up facing my monitors here uh, where they can uh, view me as we get going. Uh, there's a nice shot of the ceiling here in Gavit Hall. I've got purple on for today. That's always fun. Um, now my camera is stuck. So we are stuck to the motor. Okay, there we go. And now, so that's a, that's a little overview of what I'm doing today. Um, and so it will be uh, interesting to see what happens once the string quartet gets here. I'm gonna go over to the other room now and show you how I have my signal flow routed. All right, so on the other side of this, we are using the API console here in Gavit. Um, and just to show you some inputs and outputs, we are using uh, inputs one, two, and three as a playback from Pro Tools to feed the uh, instrumentalists on the other side. Uh, one and two are the playback of the song, and three is a click track. Moving down nine through 15 uh, are my faders for mixing and kind of balancing and seeing what uh, it sounds like. And then we have our mic pre inputs from the microphones on the other side. Channel 17 is our cello. So that's the M149 tube, so it does not need phantom power. Uh, 18, 19, 20 are all, uh, 18 is the viola, so that's a TLM 103, needs phantom power. 19 and 20 are the AT 5045s on the violins. Those also need phantom power. Uh, I have not balanced the mic pre inputs yet until the uh, people uh, arrive, the performers arrive. Uh, channel 21 is our, U80, our U67 tube microphone, so it does not need phantom power because it gets its power from the tube. Now, channel 22 is where our uh, Coles 4038 ribbon microphone comes in. And so that is a little bit different. We're treating it because it's a mid-side pair. Remember, we need to split the side mic. So we have to split it and reverse the uh, polarity, right? So channel 22 comes in, purple cable comes in, and it goes and it hits Grace Pre Mic 1, or Grace Mic Pre 1 comes out of that and then goes into our mults. So our mults split the signal here in the patch bay. So I have them split into two separate channels going into Pro Tools. Now going into Pro Tools, we have, I gotta clear out this uh, browser window that I have open. Um, we have two channels for the side right and side left uh, as they're coming in. Um, we see some noise coming in from the other side. And I have the trim in uh, right now. So this trim, is basically acting as my flip on the other side of Pro Tools. So that's my phase flip on the right side. And let me just show you the mic pre that we're using for that microphone. That is the Grace mic pre over here. We have our main gain for you. Volts is of course off, 
But this has a nice ribbon mode which boosts the signal from the ribbon microphone without getting noisy. So I really like these pre's on uh, ribbon microphones and that's uh, what we're doing over here on the signal side. Thank you. 